Welcome to my workshop. In this video, I will tell you how to make these lovely gnomes for your Christmas deco using a couple of socks whose pairs have gone missing. If instead of a glue gun you will be using a needle and a thread, you'll get a nice warming toy. If you want a separate workshop on these, feel free to let me know in the comments. For the body, I'll be using an old woolen sock that has become felted after all washing. This will be the gnome sweater. And this will be the hat. For the nose, either find a beige sock or a piece of capron folded a few times. I cut up the top part of the sock together with the heel. This will be my gnome's body. Now we're going to fill it with grain. I'll be using buckwheat. Grab a plastic bag and pour the grains into it. Remove the air from the bag and tie a knot somewhere closer to the top to make enough room for the grain to take the shape. Put the bag into the sock. Stamp it slightly on the tabletop to shape the flat bottom of the toy. You can leave it as it is, but I've also decided to add a bit of hollow fiber. You can also use any piece of cloth or just some cotton. Take a thread and tie it around the top. The piece has come out nicely heavy. Let's keep going. This is the sock that will become the clothing. I cut off the top part again and put it on the body like this. Now the hat. Here's the sock I intended to use for it. Cut it like this. And then turn it inside out. And glue the cut together with the help of a glue gun. Turn it inside out again and the hat is ready. Let's try it on. Roll up the edge of the hat like this. Make it even. And fix the flap in place with some drops of glue so that we have a nice and even edge. Now let's make the beard. I took a piece of fur from the old and tired teddy bear. You can also use yarn, cotton, wool or even felt. Cut out the shape and try it on. That looks kind of cool. Now the nose. Here a piece of capron will work perfectly fine. Inside you can either put a piece of hollow fiber like me, or cotton, or a piece of cloth, or a tiny bag of buckwheat. Shape the nose like this. And tie it with a thread. Then cut off all the excessive cloth. Let's try the nose on. Looks great, doesn't it? And now final assembly. The nose is going to be here. So I put a glue on it and stick it onto the body. Wait about 30-40 seconds for the glue to work. And now move on to the beard. Let's trim the top part a little and make a cut like this for the nose. This should be a bit wider. Now put glue on it and stick it on. This is looking cool. 
Now more glue on the sides of the beard. And on the bottom. While the glue is still hot, shape some waves on the beard just like that. Great. We're almost there. Time to put the hat on. I've decided to add a little pom-pom. To know how to make these, click on the link at the top or in the description under the video. Fix the pom-pom in place with the help of our glue gun. And the last strokes. Arrange and glue the tip of the hat. And also glue the hat itself to the body in a couple of points. So here's a very cool gnome, fast and almost for free. A very easy workshop to have fun doing something creative together with your kids. And for this old guy, I've made a beard out of threads. Let me show you how. Fold a piece of cardboard in two and wrap a thread around it. Then cut it like this. Tie it in the middle. And we're done. What a funky mustache. Have fun playing, use your imagination, write comments and watch my other cool videos.